It is an honor to sign this record-breaking deal. The first and most important part of this historic contract has now officially been signed off on. Congratulations to all parties involved. We now await Al Heyman and his boxer's signature in the coming days. Most important part. Skip, what do you make mm. of this news? Joy, Shannon. Mm -hmm. I still have my doubts that Floyd may or may not weather wants to risk 49 and 0 against the baddest man in UFC, if not in the world, who is 12 years younger than Floyd and has ambidextrous boxing skill that he has displayed many times in UFC fights and punching power that Floyd never, ever dreamed of having. But I will also say this. I've been covering boxing for many, many, many years. I have never experienced a negotiation like this one because it's pretty bizarre. Usually you have one fighter's manager and the other fighter's manager with maybe one big promoter and they're trying to come together and make a deal, right? right. Correct. In this case, as we all know, Conor McGregor's rights are owned by UFC. Dana White presiding in the ownership, William Morris Agency over. C U O. Okay? Yeah. And so, first of all, Dana had to sit down with Conor and his manager and make a quote unquote deal in which Dana had an extreme advantage in the negotiation. Yes, Can you say? Absolutely. And Conor has to sit back and think, well, gee. I don't know what their split is. I have no, I'm just going to guess. Would it be 60, 40? Maybe not. It could be 80% goes to UFC and 20% goes to Connor. Could possibly. But Connor, who got a base of 3 million for the second Diaz fight, plus he got some big cut of the pay-per-view, which would be maybe, maybe 10 million. Let's say, mm -hmm. let's say he took away 13 million from the second Diaz yeah. fight. As good a contest as I've ever witnessed. 13 million? That's like pocket change compared to anything Floyd has ever made in his big bouts, in his right? Last, in the last 10 years, absolutely. Okay, so he would probably sit back and say, gee, if I took 20% of whatever UFC's cut is going to be of the fight, it, it could be way, way beyond... Uh, 75, 100, it could 125 be. million. It, it could be that much money, which would be make you kind of money. It, it could set you up for the rest of your life, yes. right? So now... Dana White, that was a one-sided negotiation there. But if he goes to Floyd, this is what's fascinating <laughs> to me, will he cave in to Floyd or will he stand his ground? Because to me, Connor is still, to use Floyd's term, Connor is the A side of this matchup. Connor is a bigger draw now than Floyd is right now because Floyd has been retired. Floyd hasn't had a meaningful, excuse me, meaningful fight. For two and a half years, you have to go back to the Maidana fight. The mm -hmm. second one? Yes. Because Pacquiao fought with a torn rotator cuff, and people said they wanted their money back. And then Berto was just an eyesore of an embarrassment. Berto was, got beat up two weeks on. ago. It was just, it was just terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was, it terrible. was. So, I'll give so you that. have to go back two and a half years. So, so Floyd's just been out of sight, out of mind. I know he talks to TMZ or whatever the boxing websites are, yeah. but still, as a fighter... He's 40 years old, and he's a little over the hill, and he's definitely out of sight, out of mind. So now, will Dana hang in against him, or will Dana think the same thing that maybe Connor thought in his negotiation with Dana? Because Dana could say, this is found money for USFC, right? Right. right. He could say, gee, we probably deserve 50-50, but would we take 70-30? Would we take 30%? We'd take 20%. Yeah. Because what if they end up just caving in and say, okay, we'll take 20. And Connor, let's just do hypothetical. Connor gets 20% of 20%, right? Yes. Of, of the UFC take? Yes. It's still a ton of money by UFC standards, More money right? than he's ever made in his career fighting okay. in the UFC. Okay, so my point is this has a chance to get done because I don't think they're going to drive a hard bargain with Floyd. I could be wrong about that. They should. They, they have the, the, the goods to drive a hard bargain. Mm -hmm but I don't think they will. So now it comes down to Floyd has to sit back and think, man, I could make a killing off this fight, but does he want to risk Conor McGregor killing his legacy? Because that's what I think is going to happen here. So deep down, my gut, gut feeling is that Floyd is still going to be a little, he's going to be dancing a little bit on this one, and he might be running a little bit, because he, I don't think he really wants to risk 49-0 against this guy. You say he doesn't want to risk 49-0. and 0. 
But the fact that he's willing to risk 49 and no, what does that tell you? Well, how do you know he is? He says he is. I, I got to see it to believe it. If, let me ask you a question. If you actually thought that Floyd thought he could lose to Connor, would he sign his name? Would he even would he even bro broach the subject? Because he, he could just to, to, to save face. But let me ask you a question. If he said, you know what, I want to fight Golovkin, don't you think that'd have done three million, four million buys? If he wanted to fight Golovkin, Floyd? Yeah. I thought you thought you meant Connor. No, 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 Floyd. Oh. Sure. Exactly. I'm you, buying. You know why he said he, he did, didn't say that? Because he knows he can't beat Golovkin. Golovkin is a much bigger man. He is a skilled boxer. Golovkin won the uh, silver medal for Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. uh, only other Kazakhstan, Kazakh I know is Alexander Vinokurov won the Tour de France. But mm -hmm. I digress. For mm -hmm. But don't worry about that skill. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, Conor McGregor, when you release a memo, mm -hmm. you say his name. Say his name. Don't say his boxer, his fighter. I kind of like that. Actually. Say his name. I got no respect. But you will, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You'll say it in the ring. Oh. I won't. So, do, wait, do you think that Floyd is capable of going Ali? Yes. On, on who? On Foreman or whoever it is? It, oh, was, uh, it was before that. Who? It was Ernie? back to Patterson or no? Wasn't he it? did it for Patterson. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was Ernie Terrell. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe say Ernie. my name. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to, I want when money, bop, bop. Yeah, but wait, Muhammad Ali could actually knock people out? And Floyd, the last time he actually knocked someone out was on May 22nd, 1999, the immortal Justin Juco. That's all you got, Floyd? That's your only KO. Skip, I believe the fight's going to happen, and I want it to happen because I believe this fight would do five, five million buys. Pacquiao Mayweather, mm -hmm. when both yeah. fighters were past their prime, mm -hmm. but everybody wanted to see it, it did 4.4 million buys. I'm it, with broke, you. it broke I the agree. previous record yep. held by Floyd Mayweather and uh, Oscar De La Hoya mm -hmm. by 2 million buys. Yep. Let's just say conservatively, this fight does 5 million buys at $100 a pop. So Connor's saying, okay, if, I, if I'm only going to take 20%, 20% of $500, $600 million with the gate? I would be a fool not to do that. Floyd's driving a hard bargain because he knows he's in the driver's seat. He knows M McGregor wants to fight. And, he, and when you want something so bad, sometimes you overpay for it. Or should I say, you give up something to get it. Mm. And he knows he's having to give up a lot of his leverage. All things being equal, maybe it should be a 60-40, 70-30 Floyd. I still believe Floyd should, is the A-side because it's, it's a boxing match with boxing rules. But hey, you think he, uh, uh, he's the A-side because he's the baddest man on the planet, which he's not, but anyway. He's just huge. He, he's, he's now, he's happening. He's got more c charisma than Floyd does. People don't like watching. Floyd's not fun to watch. It's, it's tedious to watch. I love, I'm gonna love this one. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when Floyd hit him so hard in the top of his head, and he peep out his ribs and think he in jail, I'm gonna be ringside laughing. Me and you. When has Floyd ever hit anybody hard on the top of their head or in their stomach or on their jaw yeah. or anywhere else? I, I don't know. With Floyd rat a tat tat on him. Skip. I you... mean, he, he, remember he sucker punched Victor Ortiz. Well, he, Victor was... Ortiz should have been doing what he was doing. Okay, but he sucker what are the When you come to the center of the ring, before they start the fight, what did the judge tell you? Protect yourself at all times. So when you're in a fight, protect yourself at all times, mm -hmm. Skip. Which Floyd interprets to mean run, 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 right? He runs marathons. He runs 26.2 miles in 12 rounds. It's impressive. He's well, in great shape, man. You looking at Conor McGregor boxing skills against other MMA fighters, but you don't realize how amateurish he looks against a real boxer. Mm. You've seen real boxing matches. Conor McGregor is not on their level. Conor McGregor is not even the 10th best, whatever division. He, he, uh, he weighs 155, so he'd be a... Uh, Middleweight, 154. So he's not even close. He's not a top 10, top 15 middleweight he's with a the boxing big game. 155. For MMA, but for boxing, mm -hmm. these, mm -hmm. all this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> not even close, Skip. You know it. You're going to get what I know is it only takes one punch, and Floyd would get caught with that one punch in a way he's never been caught by anyone before because he's never been up against this kind of punching power except for Pacquiao when Pacquiao was, if, if he had been right and he wasn't right.